Facebook, and online community. Visit inbound.org today, where membership is free and the discussions are priceless. Inbound.org. We're on a mission to help a million marketers. Together, we're smarter. We can share more ideas, opportunities, connect with each other individually, and stay on top of this fast-moving industry. And you can find us on Twitter at InboundOrg. Nurture and delight. Welcome, everyone. Love Talk Radio. Welcome, everyone. This is Carla Jenkins, and I'm glad that you here for the the inaugural radio broadcast of my show. I'm happy that you're here and our inaugural show and episode will be Assess, Act, and Adapt. Now a little bit about me. I'm a phenomenal expert specializing in positive change management. I help people capitalize upon all opportunities that positive change brings. I possess a Bachelor of Arts in International Economics from Hiram College, and I have my Master of Business Administration from Cleveland State University. In addition, I also possess 10 years experience in corporate America. Furthermore, I am a LinkedIn Pulse contributor and a certified project management professional. Having earned four promotions in nine years, I have experience and handle positive change management head on. Many people only talk about change in the negative, but change can also be positive, which I experience. However, no one talks about positive change. So I have heard, so I've had to learn how to manage this change through trial and error. And I've created this show, Positive Change with Carla, to discuss how you can do and manage positive change productively, effectively, and as painlessly as possible and not learn through trial and error. Furthermore, I've also created a site entitled PositivityChange.com to help people with managing positive change effectively. Now we're on to assess, act, and adapt. And I started this as my inaugural show because too many people wait until New Year's to create. To to adapt, to create a. Too many people wait. Oh my God. Too many people wait until the end of the year and New Year's to start working on the new year plan. However, I feel that that's a mistake. And what you must do is to start planning as soon as possible. Therefore, this is the appropriate time in December to plan for the new year. And I have three A's called assess, action, and adapt. And those are the three points that I will discuss in my inaugural episode on how you can start planning now for the most productive year you will ever have. The first one is assess. You have to be brutally honest with yourself and your progress or lack thereof. You have to conduct a full autopsy of this year by doing a full SWOT analysis. For those who don't know what a SWOT analysis is, the S stands for strengths, the W stands for weakness, The O stands for opportunity, and the T stands for threats. The S and the W, the strengths and the weaknesses, are internal, and the opportunities and threats are external or outside of, like, your personal control. Let's say your your environment. I would give an example of myself in conducting a SWOT analysis and what has gone right and what has gone wrong in my current year for 2015. What's gone right is I've traveled more, I have more experience, I have expanded my network, and I've moved beyond my comfort zone. My my weaknesses and my threats are I feel that 
at times I can be a type A and I would accumulate so much training that it can be borderline paralysis of analysis. So what I will do starting in 2016 is analyze and evaluate more of whether or not my taking a certain kind of training would benefit me. You have to do the same thing because you don't want to waste any more time or money. Once you conduct a full SWOT analysis and you assess your complete situation, then you can move to the next step, which is action. You will use your SWOT analysis as an input to just do a high level annual plan. And like I said before in the assess part, you don't wanna get paralysis of analysis. Right now, you can't really map out your whole year, but you can do three to five points that you wanna accomplish for the next year. Then once you start rolling in the new year, you can start adapting this and drilling down more by month, by quarter, or by week. The goal of creating your own action plan is to magnify your strengths and opportunities while minimizing your weaknesses and your threats. As soon as you get additional information, you can change the plan. But right now, you want to just keep it high level because you don't know what changes may be ahead and what you must do to adapt. And that comes to my final point. A lot of people think that the same plan that you have on January 1st is going to be the same plan you have on December 31st. That could not be further from the truth. You are not the same person January 1st of this year as you are in December. Your plan must be flexible and adaptable to that. Therefore, if you have any more information or any knowledge that would benefit you or would reduce a weakness or eliminate a potential threat, then you must incorporate that into the plan. Adapting the plan for what happens in your personal and professional lives would be very beneficial to making sure that you have a more productive year next year than you do this year. For instance, leading to what I was saying in the assess example, what I had decided to do was adapt my planning based on the results I've gotten. An example of that is, to be honest, my life changed when I learned, when I earned my project management professional credential in 2013. And the reason why I changed is because I now qualify for a whole wide array of jobs that I didn't qualify before. Matter of factly, I had employers actually tell me that I would interview you just because I had the certification. If you have any type of professional or personal change that's similar, you must adapt the plan in order to make sure that it works for you and that you can absorb the change and have positive change in the future. These three steps that I've mentioned, assess, act, and adapt, are manageable steps for anybody, whether you're technical or non-technical, to ensure that you have the best year. So with that, I will recap the three steps for my inaugural broadcast. The first one is assess, and you assess your whole year, this whole current year, the good and the bad, the good are the strengths and the opportunities. The bad are the weaknesses and the threats. And what you would do is you would put them in a SWOT analysis. Be very honest about your progress because the more honest and accurate you are, the better the plan will be. Next, you would take the SWOT analysis and you would use it as an input into your action plan for the next year. Currently, just stick to three to five high-level objectives. You will change the plan once you receive more information, which goes into my final step, which is adapt. And as you accumulate more information, you will be able to have a more 
adaptable, incredible, and beneficial plan to absorb the new changes that you have. Therefore, if you receive a promotion at work, if you relocate, adapt the plan so that it will benefit you and you can still manage the positive change and you can have your best year ever. Therefore, don't wait until January to plan for next year. Do it now. You have about a week and a half before the new year and it would be very productive and you can be more proactive towards having a, a, a very new, a very good new year. You can catch me on my website, which is Carla R. Jenkins, spelled C-A-R-L-A-R-J-E-N-K-I-N-S dot com, or on Positivity Change, spelled P-O-S-I-T-I-V-I-T-Y Change, C-H-A-N-G-E dot com. You can also catch me on social media at Carla R. Jenkins for Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. You can also catch me on Periscope at Ms. Phenom and at Pinterest at Ms. Phenom. I would like to thank everyone for listening to my inaugural broadcast of Positive Change with Carla, and I hope that your current year is good and your next year is better. Thank you for listening to my broadcast. Sponsored by Inbound.org, an online community. Visit Inbound.org today, where membership is free and the discussions are priceless. Inbound.org, we're on a mission to help a million marketers. Together, we're smarter. We can share more ideas, opportunities, connect with each other individually, and stay on top of this fast-moving industry. And you can find us on Twitter at InboundOrg. Nurture and delight.